I wanted to share something with you about what we do every um, New Year's. So we try to do it when we're all together, which we have a lot of kids that live other places, so it doesn't always happen. Um, but I was reflecting on um, the last few times that we were all together and what I'm going to share with you. And just, and I think I may have talked about it before, but I don't think I did a video about it. So um, I just wanted to share this with you because I feel like I'm, I'm so over all the emails that I get and keep getting this week about, oh, 2020 was so horrible. Let's be done with it. Yes, 2020 had some horrible moments for sure. And there are still some horrible moments in it. But there were also some amazing pieces of growth in 2020, amazing things that we all learned about ourselves. And that's really what we tend to focus on in the Nielsen house. It's like, what did we learn and where are we going? Because so much of our time is spent in the past and thinking about the past and not with where we're going next. So as I was sitting down here to work on our school planning, and yes, I do some planning on New Year's Eve. Listen, we live in Arizona without family around and we're just enjoying the downtime. Our school is closed right now for the holiday. Kids have been taking a break, playing with Christmas presents, enjoying their time, reading new books, and we are also doing the same. So we're taking this time to, um, you know, build up, do things. Like I was thinking yesterday, I feel like I hadn't really, um, hadn't really moved into my office. And so I took like my office all apart. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Because you know, it's one of those projects like when you take everything apart, it takes forever to put it back together. <laughs> anyway, it's back together in a much nicer way. I have a whole stack of paper I have to go through that I found as I was putting my office back together, but it's a lot cleaner than it was and it feels a lot better and the flow feels better. And, and so we take this time between Christmas and New Year's to really just <sighs> breathe out enjoy time together and to enjoy the process of planning for the new year. And again, with that is like this idea of looking forward and what we're looking forward to do. And it's not just Eric and I that do that. So we do that. We've been um, raising our children to be conscious um, for many years. And um, in fact, I was looking through, I was looking through some old journals yesterday and I found a journal from 2007 where I was, I was writing, we've got to figure some of this out because we were struggling. We were challenged with, um, with kids. We had all five at home at the time and we were just on the brink of really figuring out all of the, the planning and rhythm pieces. And we had a lot of it figured out. A lot of it was, I can't imagine if we hadn't had things where we, where we were, where, what it would have looked like. It would have been a bigger mess than it was. But I remember writing just that, that I felt like things were, that, that finally our intentions were really paying off. And it wasn't just about business things. It was just about our family and how our intentions in our family were really starting to pay off. That we were, we were much more conscious with the children. The children were much more conscious with each other. And that was, so that was like 2007. So that was almost um, 14 years ago. So we've been at this, like being conscious with them for a long time. Our oldest is going to be 25. No, 20. Oh my goodness. I'd have to sit in my big brain. Yeah. No, 24. 24. Oh my goodness. 24, <laughs> 24, um, in January. And so we have been at this, this being more conscious place for the last, like I said, about 14 years. Before then, it was like trying to get more conscious and figuring out the pieces that were in the way that were holding us up. And this little ritual that, that I'm going to show you is something that we've come up with in the last 14 years that, again, is really helpful to us as a family. I usually go back and um, reflect on them this last week and they're out like I just handed out everybody their I'll show you their stars and and we've just been reflecting today on what we made happen in the last year. So I'm going to show you what, what this is. It's really simple and you don't even have to have um, these stars here. Let's, so these are just paper stars. This is paper stars. They're you can buy them you can buy them at Michael's. That's where I bought these. I used to do this exercise with our co-op on Three Kings Day. We would do it. Sometimes we've, we've waited until then because really, you know, Christmas tide goes until then. 
Um, so they're just paper stars, paper stars. And what we do is on the front of them, I'll show you mine from last year. On the front, we write our name and then qualities about ourselves that we like, things that we like. So mine says mom. I've got fun, happy, driven, abundant, smart. So I tried to put, we tried to put a quality in each corner. And some of them have more qualities um, in each corner. And on the back, I'm not gonna show you my back, but on the back, we write goals for the year, intentions for the year. And what's so interesting to me is then I keep them. We sometimes will put them up on the fridge um, and leave them up all year long. Or um, in our house in San Diego, we had them. We had a wall in the kitchen that we had them um, up on. But this year, I had just kind of taken them down and put them away when we moved. And this is the first time I've gotten them back out. I was thinking about it this morning. Oh, I got to go find the stars. And I was thinking, oh crap, I don't know if I have stars. If I, if I had, but I did, I had extra stars. Um, so I pulled them all out and, and I tend to keep mine from year to year. I don't, mine is the only one that I have more than one of in my pile here. Everybody else must take those and squirrel them away. Um, but I was looking at a star that I did two years ago and the intentions that were on the back of it like all of them, we made them all come true. <sighs> like all of them. I, I am like continually impressed with the space of what happens when we have an intention that we really put love into. And then, then I think the piece that is so hard sometimes is detachment from it. So put love into it. Yes, this is what we'd like to create this year. And then just sort of trust that you'll be guided every day. If you're in a space of, of prayer and meditation every day, you have to trust that you'll be guided to the right people, to the right experiences. And, you know, I didn't put <laughs> endure COVID-19 on the back of last year's star, <laughs> but I put a lot of other things on there. I mean, what this is what's so funny. We put on there that we... um we wanted a new car and a new house. That was last year's. And we did that. We had no idea. I had no idea where it was going. And and truly, it's been such a, a testimony of faith for me that when we put our intention out there and we just let God do his work or her work, whatever, whatever pronoun you want to put on God, whatever. Let God do the work. Let you, let yourself be guided. Let yourself be, um, open to the spaces that you need to be in, in order to make things happen. I look at my kids' ones. It's my, my kids, I have, I have, um, my middle son's here. His, his, I look at the back of his, and this one was from two years ago because he wasn't with us last year. Um, and, and almost all the things on the back of his came true. Like that he did. And this is not, um, you know, I, I know the, the law of attraction gets a lot of like, uh, bad, bad press for it being like, oh, it's all new agey and God can't live with the law of attraction. Hogwash. It's a law. You have to want something. You have to put forth the effort and the intention to get it. And, and even if that intention is writing it down on the, silly piece of paper shaped like a star so that you can then look back in a year and see how far you've come. And, and with that, you know, it, it of course is more than that because I, I, I teach my kids to pray and meditate and, um, we, we've done that, like I said, for many, many years. Um, so it is a bit more than that. You have to do the work. So, you know, put the intention together um, sit down with your family, make your stars today, put your name on the front, write your qualities that are, that you're proud of, or things that you even things that you want to work on to get better, put that on the front. And then on the back, write your wildest dreams out, even if it sounds crazy, write it out, write it out. 
There are things that I wrote on the back of mine two years ago that have come to fruition that I did not know how they were going to happen when I, when I wrote it down. They were crazy, wild, giant goals. Giant goals. And if you had said to me last year, when I was writing mine out, um, you know, guess where you're going to be in a year? I'd have said, nope, you're lying. I never in a million years would have said I was leaving California. I never in a million years would have said um, we would persevere and build a school through this gigantic mess. Never in a million years would I have believed that. So this piece of intention, this is an assignment for you. Write out your intention. This is not just your average goal setting, you know, oh, because we're seeing it everywhere, right? New you, new year, write new goals. No, this is deeper than that. Write it out. And then every day, every day in your prayer and meditation, ask, how can I get closer to that goal? How can I get closer to those intentions that I wrote down? And then listen. And when it sounds crazy, what you, the messages you get from the spirit, <laughs> because here's what I wonder, either we need spiritual hearing aids because <laughs> we don't trust, we don't trust, or, or, or we just have to, we just have to do what the spirit says, even when it sounds nuts, even when it sounds nuts, even when people around us think we're crazy. Uh, I, I remember when I told my, my parents, which my mom, I love her dearly. If you're watching mom, hello, I love you. I, I know that she was like, you're going to do what? You're going to put all your things in storage and then just drive and try to find a house. <laughs> yep. And that's what we did. And, and even though we know that Arizona is not our forever home, this is where we're supposed to be right now. And this is where we're supposed to do the building that we're doing right now. And this is where our family is supposed to be whole and happy. And, and we are, we feel like, excellent about it. Um, my house feels like a fortress. I went from a tiny postage stamp, 800 square foot house to 2,400 square foot house and I pay less than I did in California. So, you know, again, if you had told me last January, hey, this is what's coming. Like I laugh because there's that, if you've seen it on YouTube, that one where ladies like sitting down with her future self and having a conversation. She's like, what? What? <laughs> I would have been like that. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have understood what was coming, but because I listen and y'all, I listen, I listen, but I have to go to the act of, of asking, okay, what do you need me to know today? What things do I need to know today to get me through what's happening today and what's happening next? Whether that be with my parenting, whether that be in our business, whether that be Eric and I, what do I need to know today? And so I listen, I listen, and then I do. So if you're not good at listening, this is a good time to start. Maybe that's one of the things you put on the back of your star, getting good at listening. Um, if you're good at listening, but you're, you still don't have things that are, that are moving for you, and you've been doing intentional work for a long time, do not give up, do not give up. Meditate every day, get in a high, vibration every day. Get yourself into a space where you feel good every day. Because, you know, some of the biggest things that are on my list, I wrote down two years ago. And so it's really neat to be able to see, oh, wow, <laughs> crushed that. And then some. Anyway, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. Much love.